Lord, I will lift my eyes to the hills, knowing my help is coming from you, and your peace you give me in the time of storm. For your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio, I'm CJ. For your Olympic sporting news, Usain Bolt will aim for a three-peat of Olympic sprint titles in the 100 and 200 meters at the 216 Rio de Janeiro Games, rather than trying out a new event. Lindsey Vaughn wants to challenge a men's downhill skiers in a World Cup race next month, though her wish still needs the support of the United States team and Alpine Skiing's governing body. But she has written the International Ski Federation to ask whether she can make the historic start at a venue where she has earned nine of her 26 World Cup downhill victories. And finally, three-time Olympic champion Vyacheslav Ikomo, a longtime teammate of Lance Armstrong, is a new general manager of the Russian cycling team Katusha. For your quick news and notes, the California State Athletic Commission has upheld Rafael Cavacanti's one-year suspension and $2,500 fine. The Strike Force car is scheduled for November 3rd in Oklahoma City. Took another big hit when an injury forced middleweight champion Luke Rocco to pull out of the event. Felix Vertigo, who represented Puerto Rico in the 2012 London Olympics, signed a multi-promotional deal with Top Rank. Michael Jones, a 25-year-old youth soccer coach for the New York Red Bulls, was fatally slashed in the neck and torso in one of New York's busiest neighborhoods last weekend, and police Monday were hunting for the suspected killer. May God rest his soul in peace. Funny car racer Mike Neff raced to victory Monday at the rain-delayed NHRA Nationals at Maple Grove Raceway and kept his championship hopes alive with a time of 4.03 seconds at 317.94 miles per hour in a Ford Mustang to earn his fourth win of the season. NASCAR is revealing where the Kurt Busch would face further penalty for ignoring official requests to stop his car after a lap 98 wrecked Sunday at, at Talladega Super Speedway since emergency workers were still in the process of providing him and the number 51 Phoenix Racing Chevrolet assistance and because there was emergency medical equipment on the track. Tiger Woods told reporters in Turkey on Monday that he apologized to several of his Ryder Cup teammates for his inability to deliver more points during a U.S. defeat to Europe at Medina Country Club. Julian Boyd, a star of Long Island University Brooklyn basketball team and three teammates, arrested in a campus brawl had their suspensions lifted Monday and were instead put on school probation and will be suspended for two games each. Jerry Sadusky and at least some of his victims plan to address the judge at his sentencing, a proceeding that may last less than two hours and Sandusky made a statement from jail stating quote they could take away my life they could make me out as a monster they could treat me as a monster but they can't take away my heart in my heart I know I did not do these alleged disgusting acts close quote Iowa senior cornerback Makai Hyde is listed as a starter for Saturday's game at Michigan State despite being arrested over the weekend on suspicion of public intoxication and interference with official acts. Temple defensive tackle Kamal Johnson would not play or practice with the team after being arrested this past weekend for allegedly assaulting his girlfriend and charged with kidnapping, false imprisonment, simple assault, and endangering the welfare of another person. Detroit Red Wings forward Henrik Zetterberg is headed overseas during the NHL lockout and will play with Switzerland's E.V. Zug. And finally, Don Larson, the former Yankee, has decided to auction off the uniform he wore 56 years ago Monday when he offered a perfect game in the World Series to help pay for his grandchildren's college education. This sports segment was sponsored by Naturally Relaxed Massage, where you can relax, release, and relieve naturally in the greater Houston area. For race and more information, please email naturallyrelaxed at gmail.com. To have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cj at cjsports.com for more information. To get your archives of your spiritual sports segment, log on to my innovative blog site cjsports.com and make sure you give me that follow on Twitter at cjsports. And don't forget to like me on Facebook at cj at, that's c-e-e-j-a-y. Tune in next time for more updates on your next spiritual sports segment to where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports I'm CJ be blessed and have a positive productive blessed day and I leave you with namaste as the divine in me salutes and honors the divine in you